welcome to another episode of Game Boy Roulette, where we take a look at randomly chosen games from the Game Boy Library. Ghostbusters 2. You know, I think I have a pretty good idea who I'm gonna call. Funnily enough, not only is this game based on the second Ghostbusters movie, but it's also the second time we've looked at a Ghostbusters game on Game Boy Roulette. Previously, we took a look at the real Ghostbusters, based not on the movie, but on the cartoon series. And while it ended up being a solid game, it was because it was just a reskinned version of the Crazy Castle games, which brought in all sorts of franchises. So, I don't really know if we can count it as a Ghostbusters game. But this one, released in 1991 for the Game Boy, was in fact directly linked to the sequel. There's a much more interesting name link to Ghostbusters 2, and that's HAL. Specifically, HAL Laboratory. Chances are if you're a Nintendo fan, you've played something made by HAL Laboratory, since they were one of Nintendo's most trusted developers. Whether it be the Kirby games, the Earthbound series, or even the first two Super Smash Bros. games, HAL Laboratory developed some of the most beloved games that were ever associated with Nintendo. Not to mention some of Nintendo's biggest names, Satoru Iwata, Shigesatsu Itoi, and Masahiro Sakurai, all came through HAL, so there's certainly signs that we could be in for some high quality. The box has a mix you don't often see, cartoon and realistic. Peter, Ray, Egon, and Winston are all direct from the movie, but with the cartoonish background it creates a nice contrast. Kinda reminds me of Who Framed Roger Rabbit, and that's high praise. HAL Laboratory has produced some classics, but can they salvage a series with notoriously bad games? Check your PKE meters as we check out Ghostbusters 2. Ghostbusters 2 movie? Oh, hello. <laughs> Come back here, slumber! Oh yeah. Let's hear how the theme sounds. It's pretty good. Ghostbusters 2! Yeah, it's got a nice little pop to the theme. Oh. We got him! There they are! Oh, I can actually pick... Uh, I always like to E-gun. Uh... Peter Ray... Let's go with Winston. Don't know if there's any difference, but... Ah, uh, the beautiful city of city. Oh, baby! <laughs> yep, that'll that'll happen sometimes. And now the Ghostbusters attack that fire hydrant. Stage one, floor one. Got him. Okay, but now what? Uh, A to proton pack. Oh, B to grab, grab. Got him. Oh, I see how it is. Oh no! I got slimed. Oh, it's like super arcadey. Oh, whoops. Uh, dang on. Winston, come on, thank you. This is kind of fun already. Whoops. The controls are fairly solid. One ghost left. Got him. Woohoo! Yeah, you just have to suck up all the ghosts in time. It's kind of interesting how. The second Ghostbuster is sort of semi-AI controlled. The computer decides where they move, but I decide when they actually activate the, uh, proton pack. Zap. Grab. Grab. I'm- come on. <laughs> I'm gonna push Winston all the way there. Zap. Grab. Zap. Grab. I wonder if there's, like, power-ups. This seems like the kind of game that would have power-ups built in. Right, this is a dead end. We are still pretty early, but let's see. All right, get ready. Through the door, zap! Grab! Oh, God! Okay, it worked. Oh, no! I actually have hit points. Which is, I know this is gonna sound weird, but it's rare for an arcade game. Slimer, why? I can't believe the Ghostbusters are dead. This almost seems like, like something that was ported directly from the arcades. I wonder if there's actually co-op. I wonder if you could use a link cable to play as both characters. Now I'm really curious. That seems like the kind of thing that would definitely be in this game. Music is a bit repetitive, but not enough to really ruin the experience. Oh, uh, it's too- What the- But- I- But zap! But zapping! Zap, grab. Yeah, take that. Alright, not this time, Slimer. This is the closest the Game Boy could get to jump scares. Okay. Hey. Oh! There is a power-up. Oh, y'all are screwed now. Bah! <laughs> Woohoo! God, that's loud. Floor three. It's the same, the same thing. This, this might be problematic. Come here. Okay, the AI pathfinding is a little confused. You kind of have to 
handhold to your character. It's certainly not bad, but it is starting to get very repetitive. Oh, I got a power up. Wait, where the hell do I go? Oh, duh. My partner's gone. <laughs> uh oh. Oh dear. Yeah, unfortunately, the pathfinding is kind of hurting it. It's an interesting concept to try to make, you know, single player co op, if that makes sense. But uh, the computer keeps getting very confused and lost and frightened. Oh, you know what's throwing me? Okay, here's why I keep getting lost. Gotcha. Gotcha. Uh, Slimer's everywhere. I have pickaxes. I want to check what the pickaxes do. Moment, please. Allows you to break down walls. What? How? Oh, God. Okay, you have to hit A against the wall. Okay. Well, that's neat. I like the idea that you could swap out Ghostbusters by finding them in the actual level, and they each give you a brief little power-up. That's kind of neat. The game certainly has issues, but there's stuff in here I'm actually quite liking. Hooray! Next level, please. Oh, shoot. Is this a boss? It is. Oh, wow. Now it's kind of like a shoot 'em up No. A very, 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 very loud shoot 'em up Oh, the fabled W. I don't know what that did, but I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing. I think it seems to be working. Oh, a heart. Hooray. I always like it when arcade games mix up the gameplay a bit with stuff like this. You know, breaking up the monotony is always a big thing. And it goes a long way. Aha! I exploded the ghosts. Uh-oh. And into the sewer we go. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> hey, new music. It's pretty dang simple. But it's alright. You know, there's power-ups, there's boss fights, there's a, a little bit of variety in the Ghostbusters you play as. There's a little bit of an added challenge trying to make your AI navigate, but that could be kind of fun. Is it a particularly amazing game? Not really. But uh, overall, I'm enjoying it. Like, it really says a lot that this might be the worst HAL Laboratory game I've ever played, but it's still pretty fun. They just, they just knew how to do fun. And, of course, knew how to do ghosts. Gotcha. Well, that was pretty good, but better than the movie? But it's complicated. Although Ghostbusters isn't really known for having good video games, they were in the capable hands of HAL Laboratory, which resulted in an overall solid game. Rather than just a generic platformer, they opted to go in a more arcadey direction, with a top-down perspective and having to go around and find all the ghosts. The use of what can only be described as single-player co-op was certainly interesting, and while the pathfinding wasn't great, I do appreciate the general concept, and with the boss fights there to add a touch of variety to the game, it leads to an overall game that's maybe not fantastic, but enjoyable enough to keep playing. But you know what impressed me way more? HAL Laboratory really went out of their way to actually incorporate the Ghostbusters IP in a unique way. Each of the characters were represented with fun sprites that actually look like the actors, well, as best as they could, and with ways to swap out the Ghostbusters to get power-ups from them, it gave you incentive to play as everyone. I even think the levels were designed in a clever way to feel kinda Ghostbusters-y. Combined with the enemy designs, it certainly felt more Ghostbusters-like than the other Ghostbusters game I've played. I can't call this game amazing or anything, but it's actually actually kind of fun. If you are a fan of Ghostbusters, this one is worth a look, because it does better with the IP than most of the Ghostbusters games did. And can I recommend that instead of calling the Ghostbusters, we instead from now on call HAL Laboratory? They have a much better track record. And that's all for another episode of Game Boy Roulette. Make sure to subscribe so you can follow the series as we continue to dig through the Game Boy Vault. I'm Brian J, and I'll see you next time.